State your name and address the record, please. John Barber, Father, thank you, sir. For nearly 40 years, I have been a full-time professional artist and have devoted most of my career to our magnificent Chesapeake Bay and her rivers. My wife and I have owned homes in Lancaster County and in Middlesex County. So the Rappahannock River has been at the center of my personal life and my career for most of these many years. I've traveled and painted outside this country many times, and I could live virtually anywhere to do my work. But I always return to this area that I chose for myself nearly 40 years ago. I am not unique in my love for this region and for this river. People from all over come here to enjoy the many aspects of this beautiful natural treasure that is the Chesapeake Bay and one of our most unspoiled tributaries, the Rappahannock River. I recently had a couple from Malmo, Sweden visit us in Richmond. They recalled with fondness their visits to the Northern Neck and the Rappahannock River during past trips to the U.S. Before returning to Sweden, they commissioned me to create a special painting for their home in Malmo, a scene of the Rappahannock River. So you see, this is not only a national treasure, but also an international treasure, loved and enjoyed by incalculable numbers of people. Its natural and economic value is beyond measure. Chief Seattle, for whom the city was named, a wise leader of the Duwamish Indians, spoke with eloquence and love for his sacred land. He admonished, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. And it, and it is in this vein of stewardship that I say our Rappahannock River and the Norris Crossing must not be used merely as a convenience and expediency for the commercial benefit of dominion power. The power lines must be run beneath the river